Hello gamers and welcome to Let's Try Iron Harvest 1920 Plus, the op new Operation um, Eagle DLC. It's the game's developed by um, King Art, a German developer, and it's based on a Polish, well, it's a Polish author, a fictional setting, alternative scenario, kind of post World War One, um, and in the initial base game. Um, you have like three campaigns. I've played through a bit more than half of the Polish campaign or Polania. Then there's the Russian campaign, a Saxon campaign. Uh, and now there's the new Usonia campaign, which is basically the US. Um, which also introduces aircraft to the game. Yeah, there will be aircraft in this campaign and also in multiplayer for all of these. They get uh, basic units. And I don't have the small uh, Rusviet Revolution DLC. Um, yeah, so you fight like with Max, as you can see here, it's like a steampunk setting. And something that's incredibly cool, I just have to show you that, is um, that, oh, where is it? Um, you can change the text language and then you can change the spoken language separately. So I set it to like native. So in the Pol Polonia campaign, for example, the characters speak Polish. I think that's incredibly good and it should always be like that. I think this is like, you know, should be the new gold standard. Um, the game itself, I played it in a free weekend, like I said. I didn't initially buy it. Um, now I play it for a review um, because uh, some stuff was really good, like um, the storytelling in general, like how they um, you know how the campaign develops is a bit it's a bit pro pro Polonia kind of like with the bad Russian guys at least in the first campaign and um, yeah I think it's like a bit based like on the 1919 to 21 Polish Russian Soviet um, war and um, yeah so so that's really good with cutscenes and everything and then it's a bit like a mix of Company of Heroes or Dawn of War and, um, and Command and Conquer. Basically like the map and, you know, um, conquering points and stuff is a bit like in Com Company of Heroes. But then like in, and also like special units and abilities, special abilities and stuff. But then on the other hand, you have way more units. And at least in the Polonia campaign, I didn't have any problems with uh, recruiting and resources. Um, so you need a bit more like it's a bit more quantity than quality so it's a bit more like command and conquer in that regard um, and it also felt a little bit grindy you know working working the maps some of them at least but now we're going to go for a fresh start with the uh, new DLC the wings of change I'm in particular interested in the air units and the new special units um, and also in you know how they maybe have adjusted the gameplay on the maps a little bit. And if they can maintain the quality of, you know, the storytelling. Okay, it will reveal spoilers for the main campaign and skip the tutorial. This can heavily affect your experience of the game. We suggest playing the Polonia campaign first. Yeah, I kind of did that, almost finished it. So we will just jump into it now. This is also like a spoiler warning for you, if, in case you haven't played the Polonia campaign yet. With all due respect, sir, we can't stand on the sidelines while they redraw the maps for the 20th century. They are weak. We need to act. Europa lies in ashes, but our national bird is the eagle, not the vulture. Americans don't want an empire, George. We lead by example, not by threat of force. Of course you were right. But only the strong can protect the weak. The situation up north is untenable. If we want to lead by example, we must not allow tyranny to win. Alaska is Ruspia territory. We have no jurisdiction there. They're murdering landowners and seizing factories. Factories that American businesses invested millions in. Are we really gonna sit here and let criminals steal our property? Tolerate these acts against our people on the American continent. Deal with 
the situation, George, but discreetly. In and out, minimal casualties. Yes, Mr. President. Now send our best man. That's pretty cool that you can actually see how long uh, the video is or the, the, the animation. Yeah, that's very American. Lead by example, don't accept turning. Uh, use f force, use your forces and stuff. It's a bit like Space Marines. Okay, this is possibly the new uh, main character. Yes, he saved his buddy. Very good. Good start. I think this is really well done. And it's the first strategy game by King Art. Got some really good reviews. Some were okay only. Captain! Captain! You alright? Yeah, yeah. You saved my life. We all make mistakes, Scotty. <laughs> oh, ow. Give me our sit rep. This airbase is our target. We came down around here. And the others? Scattered, but most of them should be around these LZs. Right. Listen up. This isn't the mission we wanted. Lord knows it's not the weather we wanted. But we'll find the others and take out that enemy AA. There's only two things we're not doing. Leaving our friends behind and failing to get the job done. Yeah. Yeah. Is that not like in the first They're Command and Conquer down. mission where you have to take out the AA? Boys. Which was in the demo as well, like the very first Command and Conquer back it? in the days. Okay. Captain Mason here. Right click is moving. Okay. Um, now obviously I've, it's been like three weeks or so, or four maybe, since I've played the game, but we, I think we should be good. It's not all about base building. Um, do they have any specialties? No. What we need is cover. It's always very important to move your units into cover. Okay, now I need to reduce the volume a little bit, I think. Okay, now, as you can see, they've dropped some stuff and you can equip a secondary weapon with your guys. The grenades are really cool and this is a new default weapon. Um, but I don't want to switch to it. Which is it? Doesn't really say, does it? I can't see at least. What is it? It's a shot Tommy gun, sort of, or shotgun. Let's stick to our rifles. Yeah, you don't always have to build bases. You often just have to, you know, have missions like that, or you have like missions like with Tanya. In the Polonia campaign, you play a little girl in the tutorial. It's kind of a cute tutorial with snowball fights and stuff. Yeah, if you like that, it's definitely a different approach. Then her brother gets killed. And when you are an adult, you join, you know, the Polonian resistance against the bad, big bad, bad Russians who murder like civilians and, um, and um, Captain Mason, good to see you, Jim. Have you found the others? Oh, very good. I can hardly find my own ass in this damn weather. I know it's tough. But we okay, there are some working. resources oh, here. We got a supply drop. Huh, yeah. A health crate. Let's hope there are more around. So you you get like those health crates and stuff where you can um, heal up. 
Yeah, so, and then she becomes like this super sniper and fights for the revol fights against the bad Russians and stuff. Tell me there's a plan. Mm. And here the Russians are portrayed very bad. Again, I'm really looking forward in my private time to play the um, the Rusviet campaign to see if they are like bad guys in this campaign too. That would be very interesting to see. Um, what I want to do now is kind of go like and flank here and send these units in here. Oh man, they've got a. Take cover. We need heavy weapons. Looking for us. Okay, there's a heavy weapons guy. That's good. And they can actually throw their grenades on them. So this is like a squ look. There's the grenade, and there it goes. The graphics are still, you know, pretty good. So I'll give him the number one, I'll give the special forces the number, uh, while the ordinary forces get the number two, the grenades get the three, and you get the four. You know, the graphics are good, as you can see. Now this is kind of reloading, it's got a cooldown timer. There's a health crate. You can, you know, turn the camera and stuff. There's something here in the corner, some supplies as well. Okay, the guy did heal up. Looks like we might... I think it's also pretty cool, you know, how... How they go into cover. Uh, let's send a guy to interact with that. Exosuits. Oh, nice. Get them up and running. Yeah, that's new stuff. Um, let's use our normal guys like these to get into here. Okay, they are pretty injured. Can you not get in here? Double time. What is it? Make way. Ah, okay. What is it? Grab all you can. So you're number five. Ready? We're listening. Now we really need a health pack for these guys. You can maybe open that. You know, on the map you can see like everything. A man from Texas. Mason standing by. If not, don't embarrass him by asking. Right. Okay. They talk a bit as well. It's you know, I think that's also still very well done. Let's just regroup here quickly. Send our guys in position. You go here. You go here. You go here. You get that. Need something fixed? Yo. You take cover Stay here. Is there anything heavy? No. The unit has achieved better in rank. We will have to look that up in a sec. I would like to also check out the EXO. And see what it can really do. As you can see, we already have a lot of units. And we will have even more. So that's what I meant, you know, with the difference to Company of Heroes. Thanks for the rescue, Captain. How'd you let these Rusviets pin you down? Where are your mechs? We got cut off before we could get them up. The mechs came down here and here. The Rusviets attacked when we were retrieving them. We should get them if we can. But taking out those three anti-air positions is still our priority. One, two, Let's turn three. this shit show around. 
I will turn down the volume again a little bit. Okay. Let's go and get those uh, mecha suits first. Can they shoot? No, I think they are melee. Also LMGs. And I think they are throwing grenades. You re I should be more careful with that. And I think these units... Okay, they've been leveled up. Battle cry negates suppression and increase rate of fire. Here you can see the veteran C uh, thing. And now these riflemen, they will actually pick up the MG. I think that's pretty cool. What's the next move? The next move is get those mechas. Yeah. So we stole their weapons. Got some right here. Oh, there's a mech. There's some supplies in here. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Then get it running and let's get out of here. A multi-gunner. Give, Give them a Texas welcome. Coordinates received. Mission ready. Going there now. You see what is it? Um Yeah, now we just had to send in our forces. That was not very tactical. I think he will get the health back. And also open this uh, weapons crate. It's cannons. I think we should go for the cannons. I think I can only shoot at the truck, yeah. To destroy it yeah you can destroy like objects and I think even buildings that's also pretty cool let's see if we can get oh there's another weapon crate or something we need to get it as well let's see what we find here looks like it didn't survive the crash this wasn't the crash contact holy crap Get into cover. No one threw a grenade. That's good. You can throw a grenade. It's G. Okay, throw your grenade. Okay. Time to move. This mess could have been avoided if they just bought the damn land. Yeah, not to mention keeping the Rusfiats on the other side of the ocean. That's interesting, because you know we are fighting in the Arctic, and the comment actually, you know, why didn't they buy it is because in in reality, the Americans bought lots of land from um, the Russians in the Arctic or the Soviets. And Germany had claims in the Arctic as well, but they gave them up in, I think, in the in 1990. Enemy units moving. Okay, we should be able to take them out easily. Oh man, that's a tough guy. Let's go for him. We need a gunner to attack this one. Um, I think it also helps if you attack from the rear. But we've got it. What's the next move? Um, the next move is to actually go for that crate that I've missed. And why is there an exclamation mark? That should be enemy units spotted. Yeah, let's take them out first. Over there. That'll drop airships faster and address on prom night. Get rid of it! 
Go for that AA turret. Or maybe not because it's only AA, it doesn't fire on us. Okay. This AA turret stuff is also new. So it won't harm us. It's good for us. I would really like to heal him up, but I can't. William can leave his exosuit and deploy it into a stationary turret that autonomously attacks enemies in range. Oh man. William automatically exits the suit if he would become incapacitated. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the great was we can't drop the there's, a, there's a crate Enemy units in. potentially I could surround them but I don't think we need to let's throw a grenade you shoot at them Good, now you get the you get the health pack. I'm pretty sure we will have to um, defend the base after conquering it. Maybe get some air supplies or something or hold out till the um, air force arrives or something. Use the drawbridge control to lower that drawbridge. That's also new. Shut up and pull the lever. At least I think it's new. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's good fun. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's too many Let's units. Go. I think that's the problem of the game. Or maybe one of the core problem. What is it? I'd rather have less units and, and more tactics. Because I think this is like more units than you would actually field in... C O H. I mean, this is Rusviet. These guys are all Rusviet. Isn't it their business what they do with their own country? They're fighting against the Tsar, their leader, and have stolen Americans' property as well. Okay, they are on high ground over there, so we won't go around there. We will attack this way. I think it's better. We could send some units in here. Okay, I actually shot the building instead of sending a unit in. I think we might be under attack, or was that us shooting here? Let's get that. The mix between max and um, normal infantrymen is pretty cool. Okay, this is something we should pick up because it's they will now become pioneers. And you can actually build like uh, bunkers and defenses and stuff. They won't be good at fighting, but no, you have to attack. Okay, you know the drill. A bottle of wine for whoever destroys it. Oh, wine. Go there. Bottle of wine is pretty cool. Go there. You go back into cover. It looks very good with all the bangs and stuff. Look at that, man. It's really cool. That should go down in no time. There's a crate somewhere still. It's a medicine crate. That's good. So let's send them there already. And I think... Oh, damn it. Okay, down goes the bridge. At least we have a way into the base now. I told you they wouldn't take this lying down. We need to secure the airfield and destroy the last anti-air cannon. 
What about those mechs? That's a lot of firepower coming our way. Okay. We don't have to fight them now. We can move around them. Almost done. Come on. Can we move around them? Can we still get this health back? We're ready to go. We can. You betcha. And that's the engineer. Can he maybe repair that a little bit? Yes. That's where we need the resources for. We need to move around them. So where actually are they coming from? That's the bridge, so we go around this way, I think. We'll be there soon. No, 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 no. You continue repairing that thing, and you need to go back. This way, fellas. I'm not 100% sure. Now this bridge has been lowered. Oh no, I can't actually build structures. It's not available at the moment. What's the next move? Oh, there they come. Let's not do an attack move. Let's just walk around. Or should I maybe greet them here? Maybe not. It's with the two tall mechs. It's a bit too much, maybe. And the campaign clearly advised me to move around and I think as soon as we destroy that other I don't do the attack move you can press that and do the attack move if we take down that AA which should be like here somewhere we should be all good can we actually pull that up pull that up from this side I think we can maybe that would actually be pretty cool no we can't Hoppala. What's, what was that? I press Z and then this happens. Why? I just wanted to do the attack move. Ah, okay. It's actually a, a toggle button. We need to get up there. And then the airfield should be here to the right, I guess. Okay, let's position ourselves like like so. You go here. You go here. You go here. Okay, they are over there. Let's let's attack. Holy shit, it's uh, going the wrong way. We definitely need to engage these bazooka dudes. We are armor hit, as you could see, that is hurtful. Let's throw a grenade here. Here we could actually... I think I might have lost some troops. You can actually equip that field gun. Actually, you should repair that thing. I think they can they can handle it. We will definitely have to defend this. There are no resources up here. Okay, let's take it down. Salem repaired, good. Not sure what that is. Let's clear the airfield and give our ships a warm welcome. Better get going. 29 here. Looking for work. So now this guy is going to equip one of these guns. The LMG gun is going to equip that gun, which is even better. Now the airfield is kind of here. There must be still some units.
Maybe before I uh, use that, I will just send them over here. To see what's going on here. It's an abandoned map. It, ma Mac, it can be captured. Let's capture it. That's pretty cool. We are going to need you. Um, leave that. And repair that thing. And he's talking r Russian, that's a bit odd. Because it's actually my guy in it. Oh, okay, I see. I need to capture this flag, actually. I see. It's like a control point thing. But let's get our units a bit in position. Because there will certainly be an attack. Can you repair that? No, we don't have the resources, unfortunately. Now deploy it like here, and you go here, okay. Let's have it ready, and you go and capture the strategic position. Usually they are like, like in the Polonia campaign, it seems they've done it here as well. There are different steps on the same campaign map that you have to do. So it develops on the map, which I think is good. Now we need to defend the airfield as expected. Okay, there are some resources still. Let's get them. Oh man, the exosuits are nearly done. Throw your, throw your grenades on them, please. Place him as a turret, but I don't think I need to. I think I've lost my max here. I've lost something. Yeah, I've lost the mech. That's a bit of shame. Daniels. <laughs> Just you try me, Captain. You're on. Bernie? Yes, sir. Contact the fleet. They're clear to start landing the material. You got it, Captain. Yeah, I like how the dialogues and stuff are like in-game cutscenes. This is one of the things very well done. Strings on me to pull. Uh, are your fathers a 
associates aware of this rebellious tone? <laughs> the camera is super cool. Yeah, that's actually kind of what happened. Even though they bought the territory in the Arctic. Uh huh. Attention! All right, gentlemen, this is the situation. We are here. This is the Rockford Oil Refinery, owned and funded by American businesses. Rusbiet revolutionaries have stormed the refinery, halting all shipments to the Union. You know what that means. It means we kicked their ass. It means the folks back home can't afford gas for fuel or heat anymore. It's not just Wall Street fat cats these revolutionaries are messing with, but every American family. It's our job to make sure the world gets the message that the American people won't be pushed around. Now, let's get a base set up and ensure a steady... Ah, oh, the first base. Forces. Base mission. Secondary, build a base, build barracks, build a workshop, conquer the refinery, lower one of the bridges. So now we've got this dude and he can build... Um, let's go for the barracks first. Bar we need barracks and a workshop. The barracks are for infantry troops. We actually do have an iron mine down here. We have a headquarters in which we can recruit basic units. Let's recruit this dude. Um, do we need to conquer it still? I think we do. Okay, that's a very defensible position actually. Um, there's okay. Producing infantry barracks can produce infantry units faster than the HQ, as well as more specialized infantry and exosuits. And I can reinforce them here okay, as well. Okay, but I do want a workshop as well, but I can't afford it. This is a bunker, can be manned. It's not automatic, unfortunately. Um, I think we need to get some resources. Okay, we can't actually go down here. I think it's only... What's the next move? We can only go down here to the left. Oh no, we can go this way as well. Okay. It out. Hey, now. now can you build another a workshop? Here we go. We'll that should be for Max and you guys. didn't report any enemy bases nearby let's check it out new secondary objective received let's attack them and like in company of heroes your squad strength gets reduced and you need to reinforce them before they all die kind of now we need Let's the Rusbia people have the same right to freedom as everybody else? Good question. Get to seize American property. We're exactly. The law, Corporal. Yes, sir. What's the game plan, Cap? Intel indicates two drawbridges providing access across the fjord. Ah, uh, here and here. They can only be lowered from the other side. Could use airships to get over. That's what I thought. Workshop ready, Captain. Get some airships and get our men over there. Okay, please an airlift from the barracks. So we're going to see the first air unit in battle here while we are conquering these um where's the airlift from the barracks it said medics oh that's interesting can heal friendly infantry both in and out of combat that's pretty cool flamethrowers field cannon heavy machine gun mortar system nice airlift we need to upgrade the building so let's do it You go and get some oil first. So we get the oil ticking. 
We currently only have plus three, not sure where it comes from. I guess that's like the base income. The infantry dudes could just in case put some mines here. And here, you know, it's costly, but in case a mech gets in, it, I think it would help. Okay, there are some Rusviets. Okay, Mason, can you just kill them? Okay, there are some enemies approaching here as well, so let's just stay here for the second. Oh, there's a mech as well. It's passing by. You know, they don't notice that we kind of fought here. That's what I think is a bit of a shame. And that's, you know, I think that's an AI problem in a way. Okay, we need to, we need to move them over here. Retreat. Um, the, the problem is that um Enemy units moving. Engineers regrouping. come on regroup okay they've regrouped retreat again please holy shit there they come we need more guys. Start shooting at him. I don't have anything that I can really use against the mech yet and I might lose the unit on the right, so but that's just tough luck. Yeah, the thing is, you know, they could have all attacked because I was fighting here, but they didn't just send over all of their units, for example. Good. Okay, now we definitely need to get some oil. Can I repair the mecha suit first? These dudes should be enough to they get the number two. They should be enough to care, capture that oil. Pump. Move with a Z order. Not sure why it goes on the map. And you can maybe get these resources. Oh, I should have picked up. I should have picked up the grenades. Oh, they've got a mech here. They are slower, but they don't march the same speed, unfortunately. I'm not sure if I'll be able to fight them. I might have to retreat. Okay, we managed to defeat them. It's good. Let's get the oil pump. You get the wreck. There are some resources there as well. Um, let's actually get some defensive units. Like a grenadier squad. A volunteer squad. And then we are out of resources. Should get some max as well. Okay, now we have to work our way kind of through the map. Okay, this has been captured, so let's get the resources that are stacked here. Are there any more? No. Looking for vehicles? 
Let's get one of those Salem mechas. Oh, that's an airship that fires to the ground. Let's get that first. And I think I will build like a bunker to protect the buildings, sort of. Um, but I can't. I lack iron. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, I play with... There's a has been a patch already. Um, with... Okay, now the grenades are gone. With some... Okay, let's get some medics. And all of you... Okay, you need to regroup. You need to regroup. You will stay here. Okay, there's a fight. Oh, look at this. They've got jumping units here. Do they automatically heal? Okay, I've lost an infantry squad. You get the resources. And I think we'll get... Okay, we can't get anything else. Let's save up. You guy will stay here. You will retrain. Now with him I'll repair the guy. Okay, you can actually pick up the grenades. And you guys can already go here and get the iron. Which will be up there. Okay, these are going to stay here, these three units. You pick up the grenade. Okay, there are quite a few units actually. Go back, go back, go back. Okay, they are throwing the grenade, but see, I can try to run away. You need to heal. Okay, I'm healing the wrong guys. Oh, damn it. I've lost my air unit. Didn't pay attention. I can quite clearly shoot upwards. You need to retreat for sure. You can maybe... I think the, the healing stuff is pretty cool, so you don't always have to send your units back. Um... Back in the base, I would like to get a replacement. Oh, a stealth artillery mech. Mm, but let's get an. Um, let's get the Salem. You need to heal. Get back here, and then let's continue the journey. We've almost got the iron mine. Could we build a bunker? Yes, we could. A bunker armed with a flamethrower can be manned by infantry to provide additional firepower and... Um, yeah, it's more expensive. But it might shoot, you know, on its own. That would be cool. I think we're going to cover this area first. Don't get down, right. soon, eh? 
What does the union need? And then we build another bunker. Let's build an airlift already because that's what we're going to need in order to progress. You know, in Company of Heroes, they would kind of constantly attack you, if I recall it correctly, once they know where you are. Well, you need to heal them. And you can use airlifts to transport infantry across inaccessible terrain and other obstacles. That's cool. So we've kind of cleared our side. This is also like a bit tutorial-ish, I think, from the difficulty because... Um, we are not being attacked by... That's the airship, right? Yeah. We are not being um, attacked by other units once we've cleared this, I think, because the bridges are closed. Okay, we've got the mine. I'm kind of inclined to put some defense with the pioneer. We just need someone to lower the bridge from the other side. The airships could help with that. Okay, is there anything I still need? Well, we can build one other flame bunker just, you know, to protect this area a bit better. Could sure go for a about now. Okay, where did they come from now? I'll retreat them quickly. Okay, we definitely need to send in some more units. I have no idea where they came from. I don't have any grenades here. Okay, we are kind of caught here. Try to get in cover here. Can you patch up yourselves? No, just in time the cavalry arrived. That was actually pretty cool. Look at the bombs, the explosions and stuff. But this was really cool how they kind of arrived like the airship and then saved the day. I like that. I've lost one squad though, but that's okay. Let's go here, get the resources. And we're going to send the engineer forward as well. And these units will stay here for defensive purposes. And actually I'm going to think we won't be attacked that much. So they can be sent forward. We're going to attack on the left because I th would like to increase the oil tick. Um, what's that? F is 8 station. Instead of an 8 station, we can reinforce from this consumes the medic, interesting. Let's see what we can do. Pitch patch Find yourself it. up. Find this. What's the next move? There comes the support. Please repair this dude. Ready and willing. Rifles here. Grab all you can. Med squad ready. Yeah, they need to wait a bit. Some things just don't change. I wonder if I should get this. I think I will. To see how good that is. I've got the resources, so why not? Okay, let's get our units ready. And uh, the medic. I don't really play with shortcuts right now, as you can see. Uh, where's the medic again? There he is. He can heal this dude. And we can get the airship. Okay, 
nine here. Mason, standing by. We're ready. Getting going. I'm all ears. Can't be poking at things up here. The Union may give me a mission. Okay, Come where's this? Here. Okay, that's the stealth ship. That's interesting. Okay, there's the female on board, actually. Be there soon. The one that's been talking. Deploy unit, become immobile and gain additional functionality. Interesting. Camouflage. Let's actually check out the situation over here first with our camouflage unit. And we will pick you up. Can I actually resort that? No, I think I can't. Ready to serve. Be there soon. Okay, the the ship got stuck somehow. What the hell is that? Okay, it's actually not flying. I see. That's why it can't it can't fly over. Could you pick them up, please? How do you do that? Waiting for orders. Maybe I need to use them to actually get in. A ride. Yeah. Med squad ready. Did it the wrong way around. Tell me there's a plan. Okay, it's full now. Let's just go here. I will actually get another of these airships. Revere airship inbound. We gotta lower the bridge and get some heavy weapons over here. These guards aren't gonna be on board with that. Ah, one hostile here. Fly in there now. Can you drop the unit somehow? Go back, go back, retreat, retreat. I have no idea how I can unload. Aha, I see. T. Okay, I definitely need the other airship. And now my, uh, I'm full, I think. That's pretty cool how this, the turbines are changing. And look at that, now they are retreating. I wonder why. Doesn't, doesn't make sense. The other airship. Come all ears. It's on its way. Keep it smooth. Got just what Can you actually launch an artillery strike of sorts? Stealth artillery mech. Inflict heavy damage. Attack ground. Can you attack this one from that range? You can. I like that. Will it get stuck at the bridge? No. Yes, it will actually in part. That is pretty cool. Will it reload? It will. That is very nice. That's a pretty cool weapon. Okay, we've got them. Okay, there's another one. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's retreat with that. I could potentially go to the other side, I guess, but I think we will get through here as well. What they did really good well is, is the graphics and stuff and the kaboom.
to unload the passengers. Unload, unload. Do I need to click? Yes. There we go, please get off. Thanks for flying with the helicopter. Lower one, conquer the refinery. And this. Lower the second bridge, okay. Okay, let's first get this oil pump. Okay, there are some resources as well. Let's get them. There's the base. What's that? That's the secondary goal. Destroy the enemy base. I'm definitely going to do that. Maybe there's an achievement. I don't know. What's the next move? Checking it out. You go on with the Z move. I'm not sure why it's opening the camera. Actually, I could put a mine here. Come on, get them. I need to retreat my airship. I also want to... Very good, some of our veterans are now elite. Is that my pioneer? Sure is. You get number seven, you go and repair that ship. You go back and get healed. So please heal them. I like the new units. I like how they play. You know, with the artillery and stuff. Like he's elite, for example. You go back. Now you want to say an okay shape. A hero just gained a rank. What's the next move? We're ready. Infantry ready. Get that. It's cool that the mechanized guy in his exosuit can't actually collect the resources. Got a job? Got just what, it needs. What, is it? what can you do here? Nothing new. Here. Okay, there are still some resources, I think. They've reconquered the... They've reconquered... I think I can't build more units, can I? Like a field cannon? Field oh, I actually can. And let's get a heavy machine gun as well. Uh, to protect the bridge. Up. 
Shield cannon ready. Union MG is standing by. Okay, move your ass over here, protect the bridge. Lower that bridge. And let's build some more units. Field technicians wielding exosuits capable of rapidly repairing armor and structures as well as dismantling enemies with their blowtorches. We don't have them yet, so let's build them. Oh, there's our population cap actually. Can we increase by building workshops? Building and upgrading barracks and workshops. Interesting, okay. This is already fully upgraded, I think. Okay, you guys get over here. Where are the enemies approaching? Up there, okay. Here we go. Let's attack them. We've actually already lowered the bridge. So let's just put some... Let's just put some... We could actually put the defenses here. Here we go. That should be the protection for the bridge. I hope they don't attack from from the rear. Oh man, someone is shooting. Holy shit! That's like a Stalin orgel. Take it down. Well, uh, not the early order, I guess it's Katusha in English, right? What is it? And you can actually get some health here. Ready. And you can actually conquer that iron mine. Anti-macro, here we go. There's the new unit over here. Let's give them number four. They can quickly repair that. Okay, um, they should heal themselves. Get into stealth mode just in case. Got a group of enemy nearby. Okay. You take cover, you attack. You attack, you attack. There we go. Okay, the medics, where are the medics? Med squad ready. They get number three now. And they can heal them up. Let's see what we can what is it? You can repair that, please. Oh, look at that f equipped flamethrowers. Is there something still? No, it's Could a unit moving. Watching, but to hell with what he thinks. Go into stealth mode. That hold Be there soon. Okay, I need to move first and then go into stealth mode. Ready and ready. Ready. Captain Mason here. Better get going. Exo squad here. Making repairs. Making repairs. <laughs> 
Where's my other air unit? Okay, it's there. Let's fix it. Come on. Here we go. And let's continue. As you can see, we are kind of grinding and working our way through the map without any like huge strategy or like counter attacks or something like that. It's quite linear. I think there might be some tough units. In. Interesting. Fight here, fight here. Fight here, please. Holy shit. Now we are going to lose quite a few units, I think. Yeah, we've lost the engineer. We might need to retreat this guy. Okay, we've lost him, unfortunately. Okay, we've lost him as well. As I wanted to retreat him. But it's not too bad. What's the issue? Oh no, the medic is still here, that's good. I think we've lost those repair mags. No, quite obviously we've triggered an attack. Damn it, I was just returning, removing. Uh, moving away with the unit wasn't quick enough. Do I still have my artillery? I think I don't. That's a shame. You get that, you get that, you heal yourself. And we need some more units again. We've lost the artillery. Um, let's get the repair max. And let's get one of more one more of the Salems. Because they're pretty cool. We're ready to go. It all helps, don't it? I don't have an engineer left here, but that's okay. I, we get those special units. Ready to serve. Get over there. Ready to fight for freedom. Mission ready. Going there now. We're listening. What does the union mean? What is it? Tell me there's a plan. Some these are going to be number one, like my main fighting ground force. Main firepower. Ordinary infantry is going to be number two. There's not much ordinary infantry left. Well, the medic is going to be number three, actually. And you are going to be number four. You go... They can't build, though, but I can repair. For example, this ship. Down it goes. Now we just need to conquer the refinery. Um, I'm not sure if we've actually got enough units. Uh, let's build one in, uh, one engineer's unit to build some barracks in case we want to build more units. What is it? What is it? 
Need something I'm all ears. Departing. Artillery ready. You're gonna meet here. Looking for work. Let's build another barracks. <laughs> it won't build itself. Yeah, as you can see, the base building is a bit more rudimentary than the rudimentary base building in. Um, in Company of Heroes. Okay, we should actually, you know, just get it because we can. And then move forward. I think I will also use at least the machine gun guy. Put him here. Here we go. Enemies in sight, stop them. Oh man, there are quite a few units. One attack. You throw your gen grenade. Okay, that's a lot of units. Go and fix that. Shoot at that. Okay, that's a mortar. You go for the mortar, please, quickly. Repair that, repair that, quickly. Quickly. What does the union need? Repair that. Okay, they are actually taking us from the rear, I'm not sure where they came from. Counter. Now the repairing is really helpful. Okay, I think we've lost that dude. No, we've lost the mech. Even though we were repairing it, it wasn't enough. Fix them fast. It's quite brutal. Send these units back. Artillery ready. Be there soon. What's the next move? Mission without TV coming. Mission ready. Let's get a replacement. Send the mortar, then it's the limit. But we can build more barracks. And potentially upgrade these. Yeah, the plan is a frontal assault. Oh, 
Oh man, oh man, oh man. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Quickly. No. Need something big? Making repairs. Holy shit. They are going for my artillery. Let's try to retreat. No. That's... That's bad. Okay, we need a new... Artillery, but it's no problem. Let's also get another airship. Let's attack it with our ground units. I think there's more AA over here in the corners. Oil pump and an A turret. So let's try if we can just, you know, shell it down. Still quite far away. Is that AA? Yes, it is. And that should be AA as well, yeah. Where is it? There in the corner. Okay, there are some mines apparently. There's the flag. Enemies in this sector. We're ready to go. These will do, eh? What is it? Give me a mission. <laughs> okay, you can actually shoot at that as well. I'm pretty sure. Come all ears. Let's give them some air support here in the center. Should be fine. Holy crap. I might lose one of these guys. Let's try to heal them or patch them up. Nice how it kind of gets destroyed everything here. Holy crap. Didn't expect them to actually counter that. Good. Can you patch up the mortar? Yes, you can. No, 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 no. We are within range of the AA. Shame. Yeah, it's almost down. Tell me there's a plan. Checking it out. There's health stuff over there. Has it been destroyed? Yes. Ready to serve. So can you try to shoot at that from a lot of range? Ideally. Give me a mission. I'm running a mega pass. Need something fixed? Consider it done. What does the union need? Capture the oil. Ready. No, 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 no.
Where's it? Okay, let's send these two guys to destroy that. I'm not entirely sure, you know, what the veterancy does. What's the difference? You know, this one has a special ability. Now, overcharge, increased damage at the cost of health. I don't know if it, in general, yeah, it has more health as well. Possibly faster uh, rate of fire, I'm not sure. Uh, where are you guys? Interesting. Okay, they couldn't go through here apparently. Oh shite! They are going for... For our uh, mortar and artillery. But we should be all good. Let's patch that up. Let's see if we can send in the air units because they will die otherwise. I think they will die. And you can as well continue shooting at that. Here we go. Nice. I don't think I have to destroy all of the AA um, in order to finish the campaign, but I just want to. Well, not to finish the campaign, but possibly not even finish this map because we might get counterattacked. There's still one. Um, Looking for vehicles? Looking for recruits? Requesting anti-armor guns. Oh, I need... Can I actually still upgrade that? Or is that my actual limit now? Possibly that's my actual limit now. Okay, then let's conquer... Let's conquer the refinery. Just in case we group here. Let's see what's gonna happen. Excellent work, gentlemen. Looking forward to being on the magazine covers again, Cap. Oh, I like those. Mason saves the American way of life. And the American oil industry. You're welcome. Captain Mason, do you read me? Go ahead, Admiral. We've detected heavy enemy forces closing on your position. What the? How many? From where? Hold your ground, Captain. Yeah, that was to be expected. We need defenses. New primary objective received. 60 seconds to first wave, and there it shows where they are actually coming from. Um, we've got the flame bunker and stuff. We need a. Where's like a. Captain, you went to fancy schools. Why do we have reconnaissance when these guys couldn't find their own ass with a map? Okay, they will come from here apparently. Keep improving our defenses and get more units ready to fight. And they will come from all over there. Don't figure we'll be done anytime soon, eh? You get here. What's the next move? Looking for work. Any machine gun ready to move? Ready now. And we need... We need a bunker. I think that's gonna cost points as well. Union cannon rolling into battle. Okay, let's get the Union cannon here. And these units are going to be used here if possible. 
Yeah, I think we will have to defend our base. Otherwise, we won't be able to build anything. And there are more units coming from there. Will you repair this? Yes, you will. Let's get our artillery. You get into position here. And now we are getting into trouble a little bit. Can we get a proper mech out? Yes, we can. My airships are on their way, but I'm not sure if I will be actually able to save the base. Okay, they are just passing through, apparently. Okay, this will hold. Okay, I've lost the mech over here. Let's see if we can quickly build a bunker here. Here we go, attack that. We really need some air units. Can you repair that please? Okay, they are attacking at the top now as well. Um, get out these. Okay, let's send these units over here. We need to do something about it. Okay, retreat, retreat. You can actually heal yourself. Could I build space, a base in here? No. Am I holding the base? Not quite. I've lost quite a few units over here. We need more. We're gonna need some... No, it's a bit... Now the action is going on here. Repair that, repair that. Okay, you can't apparently. Let's send out more mechs here. Good thing that we've got several barracks here.
Why is that number five now? I mean, these units to be no. Yeah, you need to be number five. I need this guy. I need them to repair the airship. I wonder how many waves there are going to be. Do I still have artillery? I think not. I need an... Holy shit. That's this mortar firing. Okay, they are shooting at me with their... Let's build a bunker here. And let's send in our Air Force. I've lost one of the mechs, unfortunately. I will most likely lose this one as well. Oh, look at that, they've got some airships here. I think defensive-wise, this is looking good now here. So let's get some more air gun, airships to fly over here. Or walk over there. It's a good thing we've opened the, uh, up the drawbridge. You get in here, please. Let's get another. You can repair that. And let's get another mech as well. Let's first get here. And let's also get a new artillery. You get here, please. What's our job? Survive the counterattack. Okay, I think we've almost done that. Let's get these, this iron mine back. And you are in stealth mode, so you just go here, please. That's the thing, you you know, those mines are still here. So if you have a breather before conquering something like this flag, you might want to you know, put some more iron mines and you can kind of expect that you will be attacked and stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, he can't. Can he be healed by them? Potentially. That would be good. What does the union need? M29 moving out. Holds on. No, 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 no. Don't shoot at it. Don't shoot at it. That's going to be number two. Artillery shoot. Okay, now they've got lots of airships actually. Let's try to take out the airships first. And that's quite a unit. Lost. 
I will lose two units, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's actually retreat. Matters, matters a little bit. Let's build some airships. Holy crap, here they come. Oh, that's the artillery actually, it's not that long range. Should build some repair dudes and maybe a machine gun. Oh, you can actually repair that. Holy crap, let's retreat. It's a bit too much. Patch him up. Holy crap. Retreat, retreat. Okay, unfortunately they've got to my new artillery, but we are, I think it's almost over. Let's shoot at him, he's almost gone. Yeah, there he goes. Now he's almost gone. Now they run back. It doesn't make sense. Need something big. Go and try to dismantle that thing. Repair drones should try to repair that. Okay, I actually attacked with them, that wasn't too smart. Could they go down, please? Shame. But as you can see, it doesn't really matter because we gain resources, we gain sufficient resources. And I think he can actually be moved to here and see what we could conquer there potentially. He can conquer the oil pump. We need some more oil. Oh, we've survived the counter attack. Really? Holy crap. Ah. Cool stuff, cool vehicles. A bit like Star Wars, the guys on the bike, on these helicopter things. Holy shit. Admiral Mason here. Admiral Mason's now number nine. Send them in here. Enemy detected. We've lost an infantry squad. Okay, I can't control that anymore. Somehow. Is there new information?
Destroy all enemy forces. Yeah, I don't have a base. Can I build a new base? I don't think so. Quite a massive airship here. I think this is kind of to introduce this massive, this massive dude. What can he do? He's storming a fire two smoke canisters. S activate the key mounted flamethrower. Interesting. Oh, there are some units here. I need to be more careful. Otherwise, I will use quite a few units here. No way to repair them, I think. Yeah, we are going to lose that unit. Oh, this is super slow. I can't land and get something to build a... Uh... Oh, that's what be good against them. I presume. And get like a pioneer equipment. Command vessel ready. Enemy it's so cool how you know the objects stay on the battlefield. It's one of the super cool things. They are sending so many units in. Maybe I shouldn't have split the units. Well, I thought this ship can handle a little bit, but I think it can't. No, it can't. It's too weak, actually. Interesting. Yeah. So much for that. And I can't build new units. And I can't repair either. No, I don't think they will be able to handle it. I can't revive my guy. That's a bit odd. And he's not even attacking, I don't know why. It's 
two against one. Yeah, I shouldn't have sent the unit alone. I was overestimating its power and underestimating how many units there are already in uh, the refinery. So actually, though, I actually do think this is a reload thing. It'll be kind of starting after the last cutscene. Whom would we have to kill first? Presumably these guys, the vanguards, with shotguns defective against other infantry. They've got blades and rocket jump. So I'm not sure if they can jump up to my ships. Here's the hero unit. Okay, let's shoot at him first. Nice with the blast radius. And it's actually a super cool unit. Okay, you shoot at them, please, because they are tough, and you shoot at them. We still have a chance, I think. It's maybe just these two units left. Oh no, there comes another one. It's how cool how the cannon kind of uh, aims at the target. There might be some more units over here. Oh, there are quite a few units, so let's shoot at him. And shoot again, come on. The gunships are awesome. I think the flagship is too slow. I don't didn't really like the flagship. Awesome. We couldn't have stopped them ourselves. Thanks. Well, you were lying in the ground. Check for the wounded. Don't leave anyone behind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Should the American people accept their sons dying to protect the interests of the oil companies? What do you think, Captain? Did you know that the refinery was owned by some of your father's... Uh, Associates? Oh, speak of the devil. Any comment on your son's performance today, Admiral Mason? Captain Mason demonstrated bravery and quick decision making in a difficult situation. As a distinguished West Point graduate, he has once again demonstrated that strong leadership makes all the difference in battle. Right. <clears throat> Does the protection of American interests justify this sort of intervention, as well as drastically increase military spending? We need to be prepared. It's a dangerous world out there. And there's a lot of money to be made, am I right, Admiral? Some of your associates seem to have a keen interest in... Uh... Out. Supporters aren't as forgiving as I am. If you continue disappointing, they'll find someone else. I'm fine. Thanks, please. There's another opportunity. Arabia. There is greater risk. The reward is too high to overlook. If we pull it off, Alaska will be forgotten. <sighs> pull off what? The king recently asked for support removing his Saxonian occupiers. He needs weapons and training to declare independence. Even that dove in the White House can't deny helping Arabia would be a worthwhile investment. So, what happened? The king and his two sons have been murdered. But there is a new king. What if he were to ask for more than weapons? Or an intervention? They were murdered? Free men liberating an oppressed nation led by America's son. Arabia regains its sovereignty, the Union sows seeds spreading our ideal, and our backers get access to Arabia's resources. Everyone's a winner. You'd be the hero who delivered freedom to the Arabians, forging an alliance with them. That's the sort of thing presidents are made of. You think that Congress will authorize this? This won't be on the books. Better to beg for forgiveness than ask for permission. 
Soon as we have a foot in the door, we make the story go public. Congress can thank us later. I'll make the necessary arrangements. You leave in 12 hours. Yes, sir. See the desert? What? Desert? You might get your story after all. Hmm, interesting. enough now we're getting involved in the arabian civil war sort of technically arabia is occupied by saxony some tribes support them others resist but most of the bedouin tribes tried to kick them out under the last king who waged a guerrilla war for years the politics of the new king are still unclear you think the new king is a friend to the union captain Nice stuff. What do we have to work with? The airship scrap. So is a good chunk of our equipment. Great. What are we going to do? Oh, we're in the middle of nowhere. Let's find the second airship and see if the boys are okay. Just once, I'd like to be part of a mission that doesn't start with a crash. Hello? We just crashed in the desert. And if you don't want to die in it, I'd suggest you stay close. Ha, <laughs> funny, we've got this reporter with us now. And we need to... that was the Saxonians who shot us down, Captain? Had to be. Locals don't have AA. Uh, what are they doing out in the desert? What do you mean? Uh, everything outside the cities is controlled by the Bedouin. I think this is a good moment with these new impressions to end this episode. Uh, let's try. Good fun, same strength, same flaws as in the uh, as in the base game. So overall, a very good, very decent game. If you've liked the base game, you will definitely like this one as well. Otherwise, you should go for the base game first with the, its uh, three campaigns. Thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.